Neil Gallagher gets it back from Anthony Thompson for Colin McFadden having a big battle already with Kevin McGuckin and that time Derry were able to keep them out Michael Bateson came off the outside of his right boot Kaelin O'Boyle lets it off to Charlie Keel, the stylish centre back and Keel from way out drills that and it's gone over with the aid of the upright Charlie Keel opens Derry's account in the 8th minute and Charlie Keel the centre back showing the forwards how it's done Right down the middle from Paul Dirk and the Donegal goalkeeper Gallagher seemed to get away with a push on Joe Dibber, but Donegal play on. Haggerty letting it go. Here's a chance for Anthony Thompson for Donegal, and they re establish their lead. 2 1, they're in front. In the 12th minute, they won the toss and decided to play against the Breeze in the first half here. Winning the kick out easily, Ryan Bradley of Donegal. Michael Haggerty. Letting it in, letting it go into McFadden. Now it's Michael Murphy, the Donegal skipper. Murphy steadies down, shoots and slots that over. And from that distance, there was no real pressure on Michael Murphy. And the big man not going to miss from this position. And Donegal opening up a little bit of daylight against Derry. They lead by three points to one. Brian Bradley of Donegal. Allowed to get away from Charlie Keelton. Bradley still going. Bradley steadies down. That looks good. It looks very good, and it is from Ryan Bradley. But Derry have got to do an awful lot better than that. There were players close to Ryan Bradley, and he showed fantastic determination to keep going and was not to be denied. And they lead by four points to two. So far, so good for Jim McGuinness. Michael Murphy has got his hands on it with McFadden. Oh, clever little ball. Thompson is the extra man again. Has got one in this Ulster final already. And now he's got two. And Derry are going to have to make switches to cope with the likes of Anthony Thompson just sneaking forward almost. They were watching Murphy and McFadden pretty closely. But look at Anthony Thompson. Sean Leo McGoldrick. They have only managed two scores in this Ulster final. The Keels brothers with both of them. Here's Charlie Keels trying to draw that in. That's brilliant from Charlie Keels. He got their first point in the eighth minute. His brother James scored ten minutes later. And now in the 26th minute, Charlie Keels with an absolute corker. And maybe that will give them some inspiration. Martin Donaghy, Mark Lynch, Conleth Gilligan. Well, they get possession and then they get pushed back. James Keeled over the head of his brother Charlie, just probing for an opening. Martin Donaghy, the substitute, not on the field that long. And he's put that over the bar and they're level for the second time. Three in a row for Derry. Donegal have just stopped playing and Derry have upped it and they're starting to find ways through this Donegal defensive blanket he's only on the field about 90 seconds Martin Donaghy and the Derry fans finally start to find their voice as we head towards half time Donegal arrived here today as favourites to win their first anglo Celt in 19 years the sun has come out, Michael Hegarty launches that in towards Murphy, the goalkeeper already committed himself. Now what's the referee going to do? There's no signal from the umpires, he's given a penalty. Morris Deegan has given a penalty, Michael Murphy ended up on the deck. We catch our breaths and have a look at the penalty. Well, Devlin was out of his line. Make up your own mind on that, but the referee decided to give a penalty. Donegal haven't scored since the 21st minute of this match. Murphy takes it and he drills it. Devlin went the right way. Big moment in this Ulster final. Well, he showed fantastic composure, Michael Murphy. He must have been kept waiting for about two minutes. Well, Devlin was way off his line 
and contact was actually made with the ball, but it was a brilliant penalty for Murphy. Mark McHugh taking it clear for Donegal. Carl Lacey. Ryan Bradley. Martin McElhenney to substitute into Michael Murphy. Colin McFadden there with him. McFadden for a four-point lead. Good score, really good score. It has swung very definitely in Donegal's favour. They've got the first two scores since the match restarted. We've had very little football. Plenty of controversy. But that was nice play. Murphy the provider for his buddy Colin McFadden. 1-6 to 5. He's got some problems to solve, John Brennan. The win by the second getting stronger, and it's helping Donegal. Michael Murphy, McGrearty screaming for it. Hegarty now moves forward. Here's Michael Hegarty. Tricky angle for Michael Hegarty, but he slots that over. And punches the air in delight. They've made their move, and they lead 1-7 to 5. And the Muldoon. Keeled again. Sean Leo McGoldrick. Quite happy to carry it into a congested 45 metre line. Here's Keeled with the shot, and that's brilliant. Absolutely wonderful from James Keeled. His third point of the game, he's got two from Freeze. But that's a great score. And if they can keep doing that, they'll be in business. 23rd minute of the second half. Carl Lacey. Kevin Cassidy played here in their last Ulster final appearance in 2006. Michael Murphy got out in front of McCloy and Murphy slots that over. And are they heading towards their first Ulster title in 19 years? It would appear that way. And that was a really good one from Michael Murphy. They are five points down. Charlie Keelt. A hit and hope from Keelt. A goal would bring them right back into it. They're looking for a penalty, but Donegal come away with the ball. It's just all going Donegal's way. They wanted a penalty, Derry. And up McGuffin in underneath it. Neil McGee's challenge. And the referee saw nothing wrong. Have a look and see what you think. David Walsh, Hegarty, and Mark McHugh getting into space then. It, that space is closed down pretty quickly by Michael Friel. Michael Hegarty. Hegarty's found a gap, steadies down. This will be the insurance point, and that's got to be it at this late stage of the match. Michael Hegarty, four minutes from the end. This isn't done yet for Jim McGuinness, but they're very close. Anthony Thompson and Michael Murphy. Colin McFadden there with it. Thompson is the furthest forward. McFadden, well, they can relax now. That's a glorious point from Colin McFadden. It's almost done, and the Anglo Celt is almost there. It's 111 to 8 points. About 90 seconds remaining, and the celebrations have started already. This was a great point. It's just icing on the cake stuff at this stage. Murphy and McFadden have combined all year and they've done it again here on the biggest day in Ulster football. Paul Durkin goes short with it. Morris Deegan blows the full-time whistle. It's over. And they've waited 19 years. And Jim McGuinness has finally guided them to another Ulster title. They've beaten Derry by 111 to 8 points. And Derry now have to recover in time to play Kildare in six days. Very proud of the players as well, you know, obviously um, in the last number of years, you know, I suppose they've come in for a lot of criticism, some of them and things like that, so, you know, for them, to, I suppose, to put the head down at the beginning of this year and work very hard on and off the pitch and, um, and train very hard and they give a lot of sacrifices and stuff like that, you know, and, and to be here now on the 17th of July with Anglo Celt, it, it, it is special, you know. I don't mind being beaten fairly, but I thought that was unfair. I think they've done a goal. I mean, they converted the penalty. Not their problem. They, they converted the penalty as I'd have liked our players to do. Had we been awarded the penalty, I'm not blaming on the goal at all. They played the game 
and they won the year. But all I ask is fair play. Well, 19 years of hurt forgotten in one afternoon here in Clonus. The honour falls to Michael Murphy. He's got his hands on the anglo Celt Cup. And Donegal are Ulster champions for the sixth time. Yeah, I'd say there's big cheers around Glen Swilly now tonight watching those great scenes. Pat, nine weeks ago, I'm going to sound like Judge Judy, but the two of you, I accused yep. the two of you in the studio, you were both hugely unimpressed with Donegal's first round victory. Yeah, and I make, and no, I make no apologies about it. It was a real turkey of a game. Two teams who set up negatively. But you're two accused of lack of respect, weren't you? Yeah, I was indeed. We, the yeah, programme was. Two teams yeah. who set up negatively to turkey of a game and Donegal stumbled over the line against a fairly limited uh, 